And getting in breaking news now of another statement that's been issued by Iran after it struck U.S. bases in Iraq. Iran's latest statement says that we will not retreat in the face of America. This comes after Hassan Rouhani and also Iran's supreme leader. Raise the debt to America slogans. They've declared that America will leave all their bases in Iraq. Iran's latest statement says they won't retreat in the face of America. And the statement comes minutes after Hassan Rouhani earlier also tweeted that his country will ensure that America leaves every base in Iraq and in the region. It also comes after Iran's Supreme Leader Khomeini said the attacks by Iran was a slap in the face of America while raising the death to America slogan. Here's a quick look at how the story has played out so far. Iran launching over a dozen missiles at U.S. bases earlier in the day. The skies of Iran filled with sounds of war as Tehran launched 12 ballistic missiles targeting U.S. air bases. The impact of the attack seen in these videos as the missile struck an American military base. Two U.S. bases were attacked in the missile strikes. The retaliation comes after Iran top General Qasem Soleimani was killed in a United States airstrike outside Baghdad's international airport last Friday. Minutes after Iran's retaliation, US President Donald Trump tweeted. He said, all is well. Missiles launched from Iran at two military bases located in Iraq. Assessment of casualties and damages taking place now. So far, so good. We have the most powerful and well-equipped military anywhere in the world by far. I will be making a statement tomorrow morning. In Iran, the country's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei's Death to America slogan reverberated. این کارهای نظامی به این شکل کفایت اون قضیه رو نمیکنه. اون چه مهمه این است که بایستی حضور فساد برانگیز آمریکا در این منطقه منتهی بشه، تمام بشه. The conflict between the two nuclear powers has forced the world to take a stand. Will the Iranian retaliation get an American response? Bureau Report, Republic TV.